Okay guys, this is just uh, another quick tutorial. Um, how to mod the uh, About Home page in Mozilla Firefox um, or Waterfox. Okay. I'm doing uh, Firefox, so I'll just uh, start that up. As you can see, I don't use it very much. Okay. Okay. Uh, the benefits of uh, using the Mozilla Start page as like your default search engine is it operates under secure HTTPS. Um, so. Basically, your web pages will be verified, and well, the Google search will be verified, and nine times out of ten, the connection will be encrypted. Okay, so this is what we're going to be editing. So, first off, what we want to do is we want to go to the install directory. Um, if it's a 32 bit uh, operating system, this will be program files, not program files x86. The 64 bit directory, it'll be in program files x86 Mozilla Firefox. Okay, what we want to do is, well, I've already edited mine, so I'll just copy that. That's the original. And I'll rename this dot. So now we've got this, put it in a folder, okay, okay so the original file will be omni.ja, J-A, okay, you'll notice if you go extract here, it uh, comes up with an error, it's not an editable archive etc etc so what you want to do is you want to right click rename you want to put a dot zip file extension on click ok now you can just uh, extract the contents ok place that in a safe spot because that's your original Right, you want to go into Chrome, Browser, Content. Uh, you can change parts in the branding, like your logos. Um, I'm going Browser, About Home. First off, you'll want to remove these snippets, so you just delete them. Um, you can change these icons, uh, change the colors. First off, I will start by editing this PNG file, which is actually the background color. Um, gradients aren't really the best to use because it tiles this image over and over and over again. So just a, a simple flat color will be suffice. And just save that. Okay, so now we've changed that. We want to open this XHTML file in a text editor or Dreamweaver, etc. etc. First off, we want to remove the uh, search engine logo. So we want to start at this little bracket and then to this bracket, highlight it, hit delete. Now, as you can see, this part here is your snippets, which is their ads. So, as you can see, all the codes are uh, contained between these two div tags. Um, so you don't delete from here, and you don't delete from there. You just delete from here. So you'll highlight this part here, backspace and just make sure it's all nice and neat 
joins up. Okay, so that's pretty much all you edit in this file. So you save that, close that. Now you want to edit your uh, about home uh, JavaScript file, so you open that in the text editor. Okay, so. Search burn, search engine, search engine, search. Okay, scroll down till you find function load snippets. Uh, you want to highlight from there. Scroll down to the end of the snippets code. Hit delete. Just bring that up. So you remove the uh, snippets. You leave the uh, function for the the width which is basically your browser size and that's all all you edit in this file don't try and remove the uh, code for the uh, search engine image you'll end up with too many errors save that close that now you can edit the about home CSS file um, this basically is images um, like this is Mo's linear gradient, so that's just basically a like a, a shadow effect on certain parts. Uh, you can edit the um, CSS color codes, like down here, which is just basically a color code um, for search boxes, etc., etc. Leave the uh, CSS rules for the default uh, default snippets. Um, as the changing them will interfere with the uh, div tag positioning of the whole page so you don't really need to edit much in there but you can now we're back uh, I changed all them images um, now I'm just going to go back into the branding um, that's these icons there uh, like uh, taskbar and bookmark link for the about home page this image here is the default logo above the actual search container um, so you can edit that with your own custom and custom image or you can alter it change the color etc etc I'm just gonna hit it with a, a fractalus and save that okay now that that's all done, we're going to go back. Um, don't edit anything else other than then basically the the home page. Uh, what you do is right click, add to archive. You want it to have the .zip file extension. You want to name it Omni. Set compression to maximum. Click OK. Now that that's compressed, you want to change the .zip file extension back to the .ja file extension. Then right-click, cut. Go back to your uh, Mozilla folder. Remember to back up the original. Um, that way. Um, if you have any errors, you can easily uh, fix it and paste. Now that's in. You just minimize them, and you can start up your Firefox. And there's this page we just edited. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial, and can't wait to see all your customizations. Have fun.